have a little chat today about one of the biggest mistakes most of us amateur runners make. <laughs> lucky to live smack bang in the middle of a load of farm uh, a load of farmland apples great pears black currants <laughs> look at this place beautiful So, uh, that was a run today. In about an hour and 15. Well, that is an action shot. <laughs> All right, I'm back on my feet. Man, that was a proper tumble. Proper, proper tumble. But I'm all good, camera's good. I found my phone, decided to launch itself <laughs> about two foot away, 10 foot away, but we're all good. So yeah, a bit of content for you. So what I was saying is uh, that's a video in itself. Watch your footing when you're running on the trail. So um, yeah, about an hour and 15 on this run. And um, I'm being extra cautious now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just, you know, in a bit we'll have a little talk about one of the biggest mistakes that most of us amateur runners make. Um, when running and the best way to build endurance which is what you need for ultra distance running basically and we cover that in a bit I'm gonna keep my eyes open so I just uh, I did hit the ground really hard to be honest and it's the last thing you need just three weeks out from a race well I'm one week out from a half marathon which is part of my training but yeah you don't want to be uh, getting injured after 12 16 weeks worth of training <laughs> but I've done a little body scan my wrist is a bit sore and uh, a bit of a cut up knee But it's minor and I'm hoping that because the adrenaline's pumping when I stop it doesn't all start hurting fingers crossed well, I can't feel any pain we're good all good right it's flooded here Uh, it's a lot warmer than I expected today and uh, we're about three miles in we've just covered we've come up this big hill through these orchards and um, yeah man I'm pretty pretty hot I don't have any water or anything but to be honest I don't mind suffering too much it's not so bad but we're enjoying this one sun's out what's not to love all right let's go Morning! <laughs> so, absolutely fine to walk the small hills and inclines.
keep your breath regulated. I want to raise the heart rate too much. Nice little welcome to the farm. So it's really here, uh, gonna walk this hill, keep the heart rate down, and just have a quick chat about this mistake that most of us make. Uh, um, yeah, so the biggest mistake that most of us amateur runners make, not understanding how the body adapts to stress and to change so when we build a muscle we use some weights we tear the muscle the muscle repairs itself and gets bigger it's the same with running and cardiovascular and stuff so you stress the cardiovascular system and then it will basically adapt and, and build a bigger engine and what you want to be doing with uh, endurance is obviously building the best, biggest engine you can. So we've discussed this before. 80% of your runs want to be at a low pace, an easy pace. So you're not entering into that grey zone. A lot of people just run everywhere at the same pace. Um, and they're not making any adaptations. So if you're just going out and running, um, I don't know, let's just say you run at an eight minute mile pace everywhere, and that might feel good, but in the long run, you won't see any major improvements. You've got to run either really slow or really fast to make adaptations so the easiest way to do that is to run at a nice easy pace you might say what's an easy pace um, you know that that's something you've got to work out but building endurance never ends it's an ongoing thing you just keep doing that's it, run done. We've gone from hot, sunny to overcast and looking like it's going to piss down with rain. <laughs> That's the UK for you.